Good morning. Oh, nom 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 nom. It's one o'clock and I'm not even dressed yet. That's not good. All clean and dressed now. So now I'm going to get a coffee down at the um, a local cafe because I need to get out of the house. <laughs> That's what normal people do. So anyway, I was wondering, um, do you guys like my hair? It's purple. And I'll give you a good look when I just get into the sun just in a sec. There you go. It's in purple and shiny. Um, I did it because, well, I just needed a change really. My neighbours probably all think I'm nuts doing this. If any of them are, if any of them are at home at all. Um, yeah. So do any of you guys dye your hair? Is it something you like doing a lot? Because I don't like doing mine much, just like stints of one or two months. And uh, what else? Um, it's a nice day today, it's been really cold and miserable, and then it's all just of 20 degrees, nice sun, uh, blue sky, lovely blue sky, and uh, I can hear a cart going by. Oh my goodness, just walking down the street here, and there's just tons of like really strong peak fumes, and it's not nice. Um, so I'm almost there, it's just over there. So not far to go now. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's really funny actually, there's these people along here on the street that actually killed, well someone poisoned one of these big trees that the council planted. Uh, it used to be there in that big gap. And some of these people, some of those people probably poisoned it because it was ruining their view. Which, I mean, it's just a freaking tree. But still, it's not sort of on for the council to put them there. <laughs> I just realized the whole clip I just recorded before had the, uh, <laughs> had my thumb over the microphone the whole time. The microphone's just sort of here on the front of the camera. That was smart. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just watching the sitting here, watching the birds fly around, and thankfully they've got no food, so the seagulls won't annoy me. Um, I was recently at the Sydney boat show, and I was sitting having some some lunch um, by the water and um, one lone seagull took it upon himself to uh, to scout to see if I had any food and uh, I didn't want to throw him any because otherwise he'd call his friends um, and I'm just sitting here with the burger and the bird just swoops in and tries to take some of my food and it's just really annoying that all these tourists keep feeding them because they wouldn't be as assertive otherwise and they should be out fishing at sea, like normal seagulls. Um, oh look, a duck. Can you see the duck? Just there. Anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty quiet on my side of the park. There's um, a playground over there that there's tons of, tons of kids at and um, nice and quiet over here. But I was just, um, anyway, back to what I was talking about before. Does your opinion change of someone if they, doubt, if they dye their hair? Do they become like a rebel? Do you think they're just normal with different hair? Do you, um, you know, just, because I noticed a lot of people have been commenting on my hair being different and they seem sort of shocked 
that um, I did it and um, it's it, I don't think it's shocking I just think it's fun to do <laughs> so yeah um, comments and stuff if you want to talk about that um, and I'm gonna go and just finish eating my drinking my coffee which is scalding hot um, while I watch these people and their dogs So um, I'm home now and I'm going to do some cleaning, I'm going to clean my room and the bathroom and stuff and uh, in the meantime, here's our kitty, we gave him a box and he slept in it and then he, like this one, so he gave him this one. a basket with a, a cushion underneath and then his blanket on top so it's extra comfy <laughs> um, yeah he loves it he usually sleeps up on the couch but now I love it here you're yeah, right <laughs> don't disturb me I'm sleeping Oh yeah, and by the way, I just remembered uh, something else I want to tell you guys. Um, to this hair color, this hair stuff is cooked by Fudge, and um, you've got it's Fudge paint box, and you've got uh, this one's raspberry beret. Focus. There we go. Um, and with my hair length, I get about. Uh, well, this is the third time I've used it, so, and I've still got like half a bottle left, so, um, obviously with longer hair you probably use a whole bottle or so, um, and they're about $14, $15. Also I have, uh, I have Red Corvette, another one, and, um, another good thing to get, you'll probably find it near where they sell these if you go to the chemist, which is where they sell them, um, you can get these which are um, wipes to help get the stuff off your skin because that, um, most likely when you put it on like I do you'll slit your hair back and you'll get it like there this sort of pink or red whatever coloured hair dye you're using this line of hair dye that looks really good really really sexy especially on your, especially on your ears and on the back of your neck and sometimes on your shoulders if um, sometimes when I'm putting it on with gloves, it just goes everywhere, so, um, those help. They really do help get it off. Um, and, yeah, that was it, pretty much. So, um, I'll post again sometime soon. Bye!